Hey friends, I am Nimmi Vincent. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to design a simple web page using HTML. Dear friends, HTML is a high level computer language which is used to design or create a web page. The expanded form of HTML is Hypertext Markup Language. Now, let's see which are the commonly used HTML codes or HTML tags. First of all, we can see heading. For displaying any heading in your web page, you have to use the HTML code H. Either small letter or capital letter you can use for that. After H, you have to specify the numbers from 1 till 6. If you have given H1, that is the biggest heading size. Then H2, little bit smaller than first heading. Till H6, you can give. H6 is the smallest heading size. Next HTML tag is P. This is for inserting a paragraph or typing a paragraph of text in your web page. You have to note that when you start one HTML tag with the triangular brackets like that, after typing the needed relevant information, then you have to close that tag using the forward slash like that. Here I have just mentioned here after H question mark. This question mark represents the digits from 1 to 6. Then P for paragraph. Then here you can see B. This tag B is used to make the text between tags bold. Then comes HTML code which is the letter which is denoted with the letter I. It makes the text between the tags italic. Next here you can see another commonly used HTML tag AHREF equals URL. Then link name you can give them hyperlink name. Then you will close the tag with forward slash then a. Uh. So this tag will create a hyperlink to another web page or another website. Then another commonly used HTML code is font. That is used to set the font size, font color and so on for the text between the tags. Next comes div, div. This tag is used to divide up the page content into sections and applying styles. Next is the HTML code IMGSRC equals the file name, the full file name with the file extension like JPG, JPG or uh, uh, BMP like that or PNG. So it inserts an image in your web page and it displays on the screen. Next comes the tag UL and here you can see LI. So LI represents list and UL so LI means list but which is displayed with bullet pointed list. Then you can see another tag that is called UL. It represents unordered list. Then comes BR, the HTML code BR. It will create a line break. It will create a new line. Now, I would like to show you how to type a simple 
HTML code to create a simple web page that displays the name of the school and uh, the uh, different various school clubs in that particular school. So for that, I have made one HTML code in Notepad. So you can type the HTML code in any kind of text editor like Notepad. So here I have typed one simple HTML code in Notepad. Actually, the structure of the HTML code is first we have to begin with HTML code, either small letter or capital letter you can use for typing your code then HTML so that is the beginning code and you can see at the last at the end of the code you have to close the HTML code with the forwarded slash then comes head head tag then title tag so that gives the title for your web page uh, the title I have mentioned here my school then the head is finish with the forward slash head tag then comes body section after heading section after head we will enter into the body section body section is the main content of the web, web page so here i have given body bg color equals red so here bg color represents background color of the web page so here i have given the color red so when when you are giving the color with the text you have to specify the text within the double quotation marks so there are some syntax and rules while you are writing the html code you have to follow that code uh, very uh, very uh, sequentially and without any mistakes then only you will get the correct output that is your web page then comes heading 1 h1 denotes heading 1 so it will be the biggest font size it is by default it will be the biggest font size and the first heading is saint anthony school canada and next heading it will be a little bit smaller than the first heading i have typed high school section all right then i have ending uh, the that's that html code with forwarded slash so you have to remember that once you start an html code after typing the detail then you have to close that particular html tag with forward slash don't forget that then comes so h1 i typed heading one heading two then heading three i'm typed i have typed uh, school clubs 2020 and I have given the font means uh, there will be particular default font size for these headings then I have typed the list of clubs in each line so I'm I have typed each club name in different different lines so that's why I have inserted the tag slash br br represents line break so after displaying it club line break will be there that means in the next new line eco club will be displayed then again line break then in the next new line art club will be displayed and so on now here i'm just displaying one simple html code to display one simple web page so that's it so here in the body only that much information is there then i'm closing the body tag with forward slash body then i'm closing the html tag like this all right after that you have to do file menu you have to go to file menu and save your document with the file name suppose sample tutorial dot html that is very important either in small letter or capital letter you can type the file extension the file extension should be given as dot htm or dot html 
then you have to click save now i'm saving it on my desktop with the name sample to tutorial.html then i'm clicking save button now the file is saved now let's view the result so i'm just uh, minimizing or you can close here i'm just minimizing then i'm going to my desktop now i would like to open the file sample tutorial on the desktop it is saved sample tutorial.html you have to right click then you can see open with you can open any web browser like google chrome internet explorer opera or firefox mozilla firefox any web browser you can open your html document so here i would like to open in google chrome so i'm just clicking google chrome now wow so our web page is ready it's displayed in google chrome so here you can see the heading the first heading is with the biggest font size then second heading third heading and line by line you can see the names of each club and the background color is what the is red color all right so this is the simple web page that i created by using the commonly used html tags so my dear friends i hope that you understood how to create a simple web page using html tags in an easy way if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel please share my youtube channel with your friends thanks for watching see you in the next video till then bye